Okay, so I'm here at my mom's grave. I love her name, Lillian Dolores. She was born in 1937, and she died in 2007. Mama, I'm here. I know your body's here, but I was hoping that your spirit might be here for a little while or come come here to talk to me for a minute. If you think you can, you can use my energy in talking to this phone. I may be able to hear you. You've gotten a lot of neighbors. Since you've been laid to rest here. And they've even cleaned all that out, which is really good. This place is getting to be huge. At least you're in the shade. Up under a... Well, there's a magnolia tree right over there. And there's one right here. Oh, I don't know if that's magnolia. I don't know what that is. That's more of a bushy tree. But there's a beautiful magnolia. I know you loved magnolia trees, Mama. And whoop and um, weeping willows. I wish you had a beautiful weeping willow right above you. If there's anything that you want to say, please use my energy. Draw it from me and speak to me. I miss you. I miss you so bad. Every day, still. There's always, always something that I wish I could tell you or ask you about because you was one of the wisest people I knew. The day that you left was the worst day of my entire life. No matter what happens from now on, or from then on even, will ever compare to losing you. I miss you so dearly. I love you, and I always will, and I'll always miss you. I was there until you took your last breath, holding your hand. Everybody else misses you too. Crystal misses you. Bubba misses you. All the grandkids. I tell them about you all the time. Kathy's still with me. Barely, but she's still alive. I know you're probably there with Rodney and Glenn and Sonia and Brandon. Tell them I said, hey, and I love them. And I miss them, too. It's just me and Kathy now. And our children and her 25,000 grandkids. <laughs> I wish you would say to, something to me, Mama. I miss you so much. I would love to hear your voice. Looks like they're tearing that old house down that's right there. I bet it's got some stories. Looks like a child. I'm going to go over here and see this child's grave. 
Mm -hmm. What is it? I don't understand. Is this a grave or just a little memorial? There's no headstone. I don't understand. Hey, Mama. With there not really being any wind out here today, could you show me that you're here by moving one of those pinwheels? If you do, make it go fast so I can tell that it's you. Are they too close together? Maybe if I pull this one over a little bit, you can move this one. All right. Mama, if you're here with me, make that pinwheel move. Come on, you can do it. Please do it for me. I just want to know that you, your spirit is still watching over me, protecting me, like you've done my whole life. Move that pinwheel, please. There goes one. Did I miss it? Try a little bit harder, Mama. Let's see if you can do it. I'm going to watch both of these. There you go. Can you do a little bit more, please? I just want to make sure that it's you. Mama, please, one more time. And I promise you, I won't bother you anymore if you just do it one more time. Mama, can you move it just one more time, please? All right, well, thank you. I miss you so much. I know you remember my friend Janie. She was Sonia's friend too. Well, she, I've been doing a lot of videos and stuff at graveyards and stuff. And she asked me, had I been to your grave yet? Or Sonia's. And I told her that I didn't do family grave sites, but it just kept eating at me after I said that. And remembering or trying to remember the last time I came to see you. I couldn't remember. I love you, Mama. I still miss you so much. I hope you're resting in peace. And I hope you're dancing in the sky. And I hope the angels know what they have.